entirely in comic book form. My dissertation was a comic book. Um, and it's not a thing where I wrote a bunch of stuff and then said, let's find pictures for it. It's something that was created through the act of drawing and the act of writing as one. Um, so I really very much, you know, it very much argues for the importance of visual thinking and visual making. Um, but it, it's its genesis was through that as well. So had I written a text document and later drawn it, it would, it would have been a very different, I would have gone in different directions, discovered different things. Well, I think it always has been important, but it's not been accepted. I think that's the biggest thing. I mean, I think I lucked out in that I hit a time where comic books have been more accepted and people are embracing visual thinking at least a little bit more in schools and in, in higher ed. Um, so I think I hit the right time where people were hungry for it and I happened to have an argument that said why it mattered and I was able to do it at the same time and had the support of, uh, of my committee to, to go forth. Um, so I think it's, I mean I think we are as a larger society recognizing that we make sense of things visually and um, you know the more we, you know, these messages aren't new. I mean, we've reading about multimodality and visual, you know, the eight intelligence, all those, those things have been around for a long time. Reception's been fantastic. Um, you know, I mean, it's been used, it's already been used in classrooms from high school philosophy to graduate uh, arts-based research to education method. I mean, it's, it's been, I mean, I don't, I don't know how many total, but it's in a lot of diverse classes already. Um, yeah, you know, reviews and all those things have been extremely favorable, so I'll take that. Um, and I think there's just a big interest in it. Um, just, just, you know, I did an interview with the paper in Brazil, and they did a review in Germany. Um, I think there's, I think there's a hunger around the world to see different ways of what education can look like. I think there's a great interest, greater interest in comics now. So to see those two things kind of smash together. Um, I, you know, I think people are excited about it, and I think hopefully not just the novelty, but what I actually did within that has been resonating with people, um, you know, to sort of push them to think differently. I didn't make a comic book that made things simple. I made a comic book that kept things pretty complex and hopefully brought, you know, it was designed to bring people into a conversation rather than to keep them out. I think if you can make the case for it, you should do it. And if you've got, if, you know, if you really, I mean, I think, you know, part of my goal with this thing was to be the last person who had to argue for its validity, that the next person coming around wouldn't, you know, would just be able to do it. And, and part of that also means is that instead of judging things about the form, that we're really interested in the quality of the work. So the form, if your form, I, I don't think, if, you know, if you're doing something that doesn't relate to anything comics can do for you and you just say comics are cool and I want to do this, but yet it'd be really a lot better if you did it with math equations or whatever. Um, I don't think you should be, I, I think you should really be conscious of using form to, to help your ends. So I mean, if the right person, you know, if the person came to me and said, this is something I want to do and here's why, and here's why it really means something and here's how I'm going to tackle it, then I'd say absolutely. And, you know, I'd hope that my experience could help them in some way to, to go forward. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, because mine, on one hand, is popular culture, and that it's comics. But I think the fact, and you asked about reception before, it's it's less seen as a comic. I mean, it's seen as a comic book, but it's more a comic book that's being read by non-comic book people than than other things. But but at the same time, obviously, pop culture you know, is being used in so many different ways. I mean, using superhero stories to look at morality, you know, and looking at race and gender and those kinds of things through the lens of superhero movies or comics. Um, so I think that's a really exciting time because I think, you know, I mean, these are things people sort of live in and breathe in, so to bring them into, you know, to bring that kind of stuff that's part of their world already into classrooms, I mean, the thinking skills are the same, whatever you're applying it to. So um, I, I think it's only beneficial Thank you.